Hey, 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 YouTube. What's up, guys? How we doing, man? How's everybody doing today? Doing good, putting God first, retaining. You know what I'm saying? This is all blessings, you know, from the Most High. Every day that you're on this journey of semen retention is a blessing, you guys. And, you know, I think it's important that we say thank you every single day. You know, remain grateful and make sure that we're being, yeah, being grateful, you know. But it's very important that we verbalize it, you know what I mean? I don't know what you guys believe in as far as God, but, you know, I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus and the Most High God, and, you know, I'm, I pray a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I think it's important for all of us to verbalize you know what I mean, when we're on this journey, especially semen retention, because this is pretty some, some serious knowledge, you guys, some serious stuff, so that's what I do, man, I, I make sure that I say thank you every single day for this semen retention stuff, because this is no joke, you know what I mean, so, alright guys, the topic for this video is going to be how semen retention can pull you out of spiritual death. And it's pretty much what I was just talking about. Um, touched on it a little bit, you know. Semen retention is going to get you in a place where you're tapped into the spiritual realm, you know. And it's, especially if you believe in God, you know, all, all the Christians out there. Shout out to all you guys, man. And, um, but you know, not everybody's Christian. Not everyone believes in Jesus. Everyone has their own uh, spirituality. But regardless of what you believe in. Semen retention is going to get you in a spot where, you know, it's going to tap you back into that. You know, it's going to tap you back into pretty much the person that you used to be before you started to go on the websites, go, um, I can tell you a little bit about myself. You know, um, I had a really good childhood, you guys. I had a really good childhood and I believed in God at a young age. You know what I mean? And I used to, I was raised Catholic, you know. Um, I don't really identify with any denomination currently. You know, I just consider myself a Christian and I read the Bible. And, um, you know, that's the God that I serve. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not exactly in that place quite yet where I can identify as like being Catholic again. But I'm definitely back with Jesus and back on, you know, that side of things. Um, but hold on one second. I'm pretty much, um, the reason I'm talking about this is because back in the day when I was a kid, guys, I was very tapped in, you know what I mean? I think like from age, I don't even know, man. I, I believed in God at a really young age. So, you know, I was pretty much a kid and I remember going to church a couple times a week. And I would pray, you know, I'd pray to Jesus and I would pray to God. And I remember my childhood was was really awesome, you guys. It was it was beautiful experience, you know, um, being a kid. And, and I, I really believed as a kid. So that is what counts, you know, with God. You know, it says in the Bible, you know, we really have to believe. We can't fake it. You know, you can pray all you want and go to church all you want. But it, what really counts is if you believe in your heart that, that God is, you know, really that you're, you're God and he's really got your back and, and all the stuff that um, you're praying about that he's going to give to you. You know, the Bible says that as um, soon as we pray, you know, it's on us to believe that the prayers are already on the way, you know, after we have said those prayers. So we have to, when we pray, you guys, we got to believe that the prayers are already on the way. You know, that's that's literally what the Bible commands us to do. We have to have faith that God is going to help us. And it's all in his timing, too. So we can't pray and then, you know, start getting upset that, that the prayers aren't being answered, you know, instantly. You know, it takes time and God, it's God's timing, you guys. So, you know, it's on us to, first of all, believe that they're on the way. But, you know, also that it's in it's in his timing. You know, we can't try to control it and be God and, and you know... I feel like a lot of people get tripped up in that aspect. You know, they start getting discouraged because they don't think God's answering their prayers. But, you know, they pray and it's gone like a week or two. They're like, God hasn't answered my prayers. You know, they're not being patient and they're not understanding like 
the divine timing and, and all these little details that go into it. You know what I mean? So, you know, this is kind of a, I'm kind of going off on a little tangent here. <laughs> but you guys, what I'm trying to get across is like, semen retention is going to help you tap into that old version of yourself that you were before you ever started in like any of these toxic behaviors. So pretty much like the websites, um, fornicating, yeah, masturbating all the time, casual sex with women that you're not interested in, substances, you know, that party lifestyle, alcohol, smoking weed, you know, if you're anything like me, I got into that side of life pretty heavy and it, it pretty much took me down, you know, it really did take me down to to a low point to where I was drinking a lot, chasing women, smoking weed, you know, I was a big time stoner for a long time, you know, big time weed smoker and I would smoke weed, you know, religiously, you know, for a long period of time. And now I don't do any of that, you guys. I'm I'm sober, I've been sober. Luckily, I'm grateful that I have, you know, I kinda hit rock bottom because I started getting into like the party scene with um all types of stuff. I was going to raves, I was going to concerts, so I was doing like, you know, hard drugs and Molly and, and psychedelics and then Xanax and I got into all that dark stuff, you guys, with the drugs and pills and, and different kind of things. So I actually ended up having to get sober. And, you know, that's where I'm at now. You know, I'm sober and, uh, you know, now I'm grateful for that experience because it's, it's connecting me with God. But um, semen retention, I'm telling you, semen retention is a whole nother thing. You know, getting sober was one thing, but going on semen retention is, is almost... Guys, it's almost even more powerful, you know, it's it's hard for me to say that because getting sober was definitely a, a big part of my spiritual journey, but semen retention is honestly like some next level shit because it's got me to a point where I'm so tapped in with God to where I almost don't, I don't even think about like alcohol or smoking weed or anything like that anymore, you know, he's got me on such a, I'm so uh, tunnel vision with this stuff that it's like, it's crazy, you know. Let me know if you guys can relate, you know, in the comments, but semen retention, you know, my experience is that it, it, it brings you back to your authentic self and it brings you back to that person that you were, you know, I just said it before any of these uh, bad behaviors and things that can change you and your spirit, you know, before any of that happened. You know, and let me know if you guys can uh, relate to, you know, maybe back in childhood before any of this stuff. Like, I bet you that you had, you know, more self-love. I bet you that you had better self-care. I bet you you had more friends. I bet you you had maybe more women that were talking to you. You know, I bet you you were more well-liked at one point in your life. You know, before we started engaging in all this kind of shit. You know what I mean? That's my experience. And then somewhere along the way... I got lost and I got distracted by a lot of this stuff and now getting sober obviously you know I had to put God first to do that but this semen retention is a whole different ball game you know when you start consciously denying your flesh denying you know that quick release that, that dopamine of loading up the website and just getting that little shot of dopamine and release, you know, that we could do every single day if we really wanted, you know, that's kind of how it worked for me, you know, I didn't see it as an issue, and I would load up the websites, and maybe I had a bad day or something, and it's just a little distraction, you guys, it's really just for that little dopamine rush to help us feel better, you know, we give into that urge, and it's basically like, we become weak at that moment, you know, because we're just feeling uncomfortable, we want like a quick fix, you know, instead we need to lean on God, you know, in those moments, transmute the energy, maybe bust out a workout, uh, say a prayer, we need to be transmuting that energy, guys, into different areas, you know, that's how it works, that's how semen retention works, and as soon as we start doing this, you guys, it gets us tapped in like crazy, and we become spiritual again, we become, we start to love ourselves again, we become... Yeah, self-care goes up, self-love goes up, and that means your confidence gonna, is going to go up. So every area is going to improve, you guys. You're going to start attracting people. 
you're going to start making more friends. You're going to be more comfortable in social situations. More comfortable loving other people, you know, because you love yourself. As soon as you start to love yourself and you start feeling a spiritual connection, it's going to be easier for you to connect with other people. You know, it's going to be easier for you to love other people. And you're going to notice your life changing, you know, at a very fast pace. So that is the message that I wanted to give to you guys today is that semen retention is a tool you know i had someone comment on my video today I forget who it was but shout out to uh to you man if you hear this but basically um he was saying semen retention isn't the whole thing it's just a tool that's very true that's very true it's just a tool it's a very powerful tool though you know the whole big picture is is me, us and god our connection with god our existence on this planet as human beings you know that's the big picture a semen retention is a tool to help us um, elevate, to get to a higher frequency and become the man that we're supposed to be because this is how God wants us to be. You know, God wants us to be retaining. God is, you know, we weren't designed to be releasing our life force all the time. And when we release our, our life force all the time, we have no life. That's why it's called life force. You know, the life force is what gives us our mojo and our confidence and makes us masculine powerful people out here you know as men we have testosterone in our body for a reason you know that's our our spiritual juice that's what makes us masculine powerful leaders all this kind of stuff you guys women don't have testosterone they have a whole different you know they have all different stuff you know so this is our own special spiritual stuff that we need to harness and it's going to help us you know all areas of our life as soon as we start to retain you know, we, we become spiritual again. We become to love ourselves. So it's a tool that will help you rise from that spiritual death. Because that's where I was. You know, I was spiritually dead. Just lost out here in, in all these different toxic activities. And, you know, now I'm not. And I just, I thank God every single day for helping me get here. You guys, it's it's a beautiful journey. And I hope that, hope that you guys can relate with me on this. You know, I really hope that... Uh, Everybody's staying strong and uh, putting God first, you know. I hope everybody's having a good day today, man. I actually have to leave my house. I'm about to head to work. Um, my boss just called me into work, so I'm going to have to go. where I, I normally don't work nights, but I told him that I'd come in and help him. So, you know, we've got to head out. But much love. Glad that I was able to make this video today. You know, you will rise from spiritual death, from semen retention. It's a tool that will help you get spiritually tapped in. You know, it's not going to do everything. And you still got to, you know, put God first, put in the work, you know, read your Bible if that's your thing. Pray, meditate, you know, do everything you can to start to feel that connection. So, all right, fellas. Hope everybody uh, has a good day. Hope, hope you guys got something out of this one. And I, I will uh, talk to you soon. Much love, you guys. God bless.